hey guys, welcome back. First, I need to make an announcement. I finally have a Patreon. So I'll put the link in the description below. I'll just talk very briefly about the tiers, starting off with the first tier the strawberry shake tier. If you join this tier, you are considered a strawberry shake. <laughs> It sounds funny, I don't know. In this tier, you'll be able to access two bonus videos per month and a lot of extra stuff. So photo updates from me, whether that's plants or just random, random stuff. Just some updates that I don't normally include in my videos. Then we have the second tier, the Lekka Drop tier. If you join this tier, you are a Lekka Drop. <laughs> And in this tier, you will have access to four bonus videos per month. I forgot to mention the bonus videos are basically behind the scenes, potentially depending some secret plants that I haven't revealed here yet. And ultimately some projects that I'm working on that I don't want to share yet on YouTube. Also, you'll be able to vote on polls. I might ask a question about what you guys want to see on YouTube. Maybe I'll bring back the which thumbnail do you guys prefer? Cause I stopped doing that on Instagram. And so so yeah, in these polls, y'all will have a lot of power. <laughs> The next thing you guys will have access to in the Lekka Drop tier is a monthly Q&A just exclusive to my patrons in this tier. And the last thing in the Lekka Drop tier is that your name will be featured at the end of every single video on a little page like this. And lastly, the third tier, the Burly Marks Flames. Y'all will be my flames or lobster claws. I was, I almost call this tier lo the, <laughs> the lobster claws. So in this tier, you get everything from the Lekka Drop tier so four bonus videos, photo updates, Q&A, voting power in polls. What I'm adding in this tier is basically the ability for you guys to DM me on Patreon just to ask me if you have any plant issues and you need some advice. I'm going to be honest, guys, I get a ton of DMs on Instagram specifically. Obviously, in the YouTube comments, I get some in the emails and I can't answer them all. If you are in this tier and you message me a question, that question is treated as a high priority and will guarantee that I I will try my very best to answer your question. And finally, not only will your name be featured at the end of each video, but I'll basically give you a shout out verbally. Please bear with me guys. This whole Patreon thing has been so weird for me. And I really wanna thank Ryan again for all the pushing and the support and the help. You are amazing. And I think only a few people noticed that I actually snuck my Patreon link on Wednesday's video. I just kind of want to see like who would see it. And hilariously enough, I got a few patrons already. So in my Lekka Drop tier, I want to thank Ryan, Kristen, and Lorraine. And in my Burly Marks Flame tier, my Lobster Claws, I want to thank Gerda and Marnie. By joining my Patreon, you guys are really, 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 really supporting me. But yeah, guys, let's look at the tier side by side. I don't know. It's funny because the Strawberry Shake and the Lekka Drop tier, I actually made these back in October. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so happy. I know it's not like a lot of work, but like I'm just so happy to see that like this. Okay, I've talked enough. There's probably gonna be more talking in the planter video, but I guess let's get on with the video. So I know for y'all, the last plant video was two days ago. Uh, the last time I actually did any plant chores was five days ago. Did I do the math properly? So yeah, I really don't know what I need to do. Found one that I need, <laughs> I need to do something with. Okay, so this is my Philodendron Jose Bono, the one that I put on a moss pole here. And I, I, <laughs> and I haven't watered the pole, number one. Two, I haven't watered, water, ooh, it's actually pretty moist still. Oh, there's a new leaf. I'd even, I'd even realize, guys. Okay, so I thought this was the newest leaf. There's actually one more. So here's the thing, guys. When I took this plant out, I looked at all the roots that have latched on. I don't know what y'all can see, but oh, look at those. So I don't know. I think it's amazing how much this plant has rooted in the moss pole and has obviously grown. And yeah, so I'm just going to take the stopper out of the bottom, water it, water the moss pole. Yeah, it's interesting because I don't know if y'all remember, because this was a while ago. My probably was a year and a half ago, my philodendron Jose Bono, the big one that I chopped up. Obviously this is one of the propagations. I just found it interesting that that one grew so big without being attached to like a moss pole. So it didn't have any like, didn't have any roots latching onto anything. I think there might've just been a single bamboo stake at the time. Oh my God, I'm gonna break everything. You know, I think in that case with the one that was in Lekka, she had just everything going for it. Lots of light, lots of nutrients, lots of air. Look what just happened. What? 
Seriously, oh my God. Lots of aeration around the roots. Um, someone asked me a question about Jose Bono's in the variegation. I'm still not 100% sure how to bring it out, but I think it is warmth related. The one that I showed in last video is under two grow lights, but the thing that people sometimes forget, even though my grow lights are LED grow lights, they do emit a bit of heat. Similarly, when I had my Philodendron Jose Bono here, um, I found that she would only push out leaves when she was right against the grow light, just because my conditions in my apartment are very cool. And it's kind of demonstrated also in this specimen where like this whole entire plant barely has any like variegation. There's maybe only one leaf, but this is when she was under a grow light. So I don't necessarily think that it's light related, like more light equals more variegation. I think just in this case, because the lights were warm, which basically resulted in warmth around the plant, then that's why she grew out more variegated leaves. I don't know. Let me know guys. That's what I've observed with mine. Okay. There are some Thai constellations that are ready to be watered. I'm noticing that this one's extremely dry. Um, I haven't watered this one in so long. I want to say six to eight weeks, which is frightening. Yeah, she's dry. <sighs> So because I haven't added pot popper in like months to this one, I'm going to add a sachet, put a layer of moss, and then water it through. I got a chance to watch um, Kaylee Ellen's video about Monstera albos versus Thai constellations. And she said something very interesting. She's basically saying that there is a difference between Thai constellations. Y'all know that Thai constellations are produced via tissue culture. So the genetics of the plant is basically all dependent on how strong that mother was that they pulled the tissue sample from. And she was saying that some are weaker, some are stronger than others. And it really got me to thinking maybe that's why my Thai constellation has been like like super super hardy when it comes to underwatering when it comes to overwatering because I've gotten a lot of messages through the years saying that their Thai constellation always gets root rot and for me I never understood it just because I may have had two situations when I've had a rot situation with the Thai constellation but for some people it is constant so maybe my Thai constellation was basically just from a stronger mother and therefore it can take a lot and again if y'all are wondering I bought this September 2019 so it is an older spec specimen and she is she's really tough as nails okay i'm just letting these dry in the sink one thing that is just hilarious to me so when i propagate all my hoyas this is the hoya new guinea ghost these were cuttings that i didn't really feel comfortable selling just because like the stem was questionable, the leaf was questionable. So I was just gonna add it to my mother plant, but then I realized I repotted the plant without these. I found them the next day and I just stuck them in this, I don't even know if this pond is clean. I just stuck these in a container of pond that I just saw. I don't know, it hasn't been getting a lot of light. We're just gonna take a look together. Let's take a look. Okay, some have roots, some don't. Oh yeah, see? Oh guys, seriously. Okay, so there's five. I'm so shocked. So I'll just go through them quickly. So there's a root right there, a root right there, cutting number three, that is a root, and number four right over there. So there's only one that doesn't have a root. At this point, you just has the stem. Yeah, so not squishy, pretty firm, even the bottom, even though she's like colored that way. And so, I think we're okay. Yeah, I don't know guys. New Guinea ghosts, cause I think these were left out for two, two to three days maybe. Clearly she was okay. Okay, I'm gonna use this self-watering pot. I'm gonna use that same pot, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yeah, I'm just putting the five in here. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting just because I don't think I've grown a uh, New Guinea ghost in pawn ever. And so this will be exciting. Y'all know that the one in Lekka is doing just fine. Okay. <laughs> This looks so funny. Okay, so y'all saw some roots. Um, I just used plain water and like dirty pot, I guess. And then I put it against my west facing window. You know, when I realized I forgot about these. So I'm, I might keep it out here for now just because they rooted. There have been more sunny days this week, so maybe that's why. And so I'm just adding water about the maximum and just by the window. Okay, so I want to look at uh, these strawberry shakes, the ones that I transferred into moss during my Q&A. Ah, it's been a while, how are you? So initial inspection, there are some that are rooting really fast. <laughs> like, look at those. Uh, 
Look at this beautiful one. Oh my gosh. So yeah, she's good. Um, another one that's rooting fine is this one. So there's a root there and then there's one right there. Yeah, I mean, nothing too major. This one's beautiful leaf, but roots. It's funny because these ones, because I didn't have room under a grow light, I'm pretty sure after I filmed that, they sat in the living room for a week. So I'm actually like pretty shocked that they've pushed out new roots. Wow. Ooh, and some fresh ones right over there, guys. This one's not that variegated, but I might let it grow a little bit to see. Actually, a lot of them don't have a ton of roots. Actually, I lied. There are a few. Like, here's another one. Great there oh my god this big leaf right over there okay i'm just gonna top them up okay last one i promise look at that block and then that cluster again it was just moss and water <laughs> they were in ponds so i mean they had a little bit maybe but they're doing great i do have new nutrient solution and i'm just going to water on top Okay, well, that footage is gone. Uh, I don't know what I said, but I said it. Baby anthuriums. One is doing good, one is doing okay. The last one's not doing so great. So let's start off with the good. Anthurium Crystalline and Magnificum. Look at how deep. It actually looks deeper on camera. It looks actually more red in person, but like, wow, and the camera looks like so red. I mean, so dark. Look at that. She look... Dryania. Okay, <laughs> let's grab some. Oh, I got some nutrient solution here. I'm gonna use nutrient solution. I know I've been using it on and off. I think the last few times it's just been water, so why not? And yeah, it's so cute. <gasps> wow. Okay, Magnificum Luxuriance. I don't know what's wrong with this leaf. I have no idea. Do y'all know what's happening here? Oh, do you know what guys, remember? This was the leaf that was stuck for decades, actual decades, like she was stuck. And so, okay, I'm not that worried then. I think because she was just like in there for so long and then I had to free it. Okay, cause I know the roots are good. So we're gonna be okay with this. Maybe this leaf won't look the prettiest, but you know, I do see new adventitious roots that I'm probably gonna cover. And then even here, look at this new root. I honestly only look at the roots because that's ultimately like what matters the most. How big the root system is, how healthy the root system is, and everything else is just like cosmetic stuff. Okay, nutrients. And see, these two live in the same area. The one that's not, that's a different story. Oh my God, I'm just noticing how red the backs are. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, let me put them back. Okay, don't laugh, don't laugh, okay. I don't know what happened to this leaf. I know she was looking weird when she's coming out. This is the Crystalline Magnificum Luxuriant. I don't know. And now I'm just kind of digging around to see if I see any roots. I mean, I can see a couple. Do you see those? Those look good. Okay, well, I'll just wait and see. Sometimes this happens, like it's not only anthuriums, it's like other plants too, where they'll just push out a random leaf that looks strange. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know guys. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm holding, and again, guys, don't make fun of me. I am holding my Monstera and Sonia variegated situations. I didn't have luck um, with them in moss, especially the ones that were predominantly white like that's going <laughs> i mean understandably but i wanted to take a look because ugh, let's just take a look <laughs> again we'll start off with the good so i'm not gonna lose hope variegation wise when it comes to this one this is one of the first leaves she is pushing out a new leaf which it does i mean i can't really see there might be some layers of white in there um you can see in the petiole that there is some white so maybe Root health, guys, look at this. I just noticed the other side. There's more, look at these. <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> okay, so that one's the best. Actually, I forgot the other one, guys. This is so chaotic. Okay, this one was a cute one. So again, you pushed out a totally green leaf, but there's some layers of white, like you can see, like over there, guys. So yeah, 
So this one's doing well. There's been a root circling the bottom. There are some new ones here. So I'm really excited for this one. So two for two. Again, it's all the green ones, guys, that are doing well. So totally green. You can see some variegation. I'm going to wait and see what happens. Roots. Uh, the point also, I do need to water a lot of them. You, okay, this is, I'm pretty sure. There's so many that are dead. <laughs> I think this one didn't have roots, but I put it in anyways. I don't think it's changed. Has it changed? It hasn't changed. Ooh, look at this. See, this just really shows how much I ignore these ones, but like, wow. This root wasn't here before. Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is one of the better ones. Probably the best, I would say. So this leaf is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, these are the four. There's probably more than four. Oh, the root dried out. The root dried out. See, this is what I was saying. Gotta keep them wet. Yeah, see, okay, so she had this root that I think grew in pond. Totally dried out. Like, okay, I'm gonna cut that dry, like, dark brown part. The upper part of that root still feels okay. And then we're just left with this and, like, potentially a new leaf, but, like, who knows, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I was like, was there anything in here? Oh God, okay, like that. Look at these, these were previously just white leaves. Okay, I think this was done. But she did have a root again. You gotta keep your props wet. I'm saying this to myself, not you guys. I'm saying this to myself. There was a healthy root there at one point. And then the new growth is, this is, do you hear it? Do you hear the crispy disc? Is my mic on? Okay, yeah, it is. Sure, we'll put it back. I don't even know if that's gonna do anything. I'm just gonna cut this dry bit here. Sure. Okay, last one, which is like extremely light. See, this is why I wanna put everything in bins. Look at this situation. But do you see how the ones with a lot of green were like way more resilient than the ones with predominantly white? I don't wanna touch anything. I know she's like dry. Yeah, I'm just gonna water it. I'm just gonna water this one. We're just gonna see what happens. Look how dry. I put water and then it floated. I can't. Okay, so I'm putting them in a bin just because I'll have an easier time just organizing them with the green ones. So we're going to put them all together, actually. I'll just put the green ones like to the edge of the bin because the grow light's right in the middle. I'll put the ones that are not doing so hot right in the middle. And then the green ones that are doing well to the wings of the bin. I'm going to show you this forgotten, <laughs> this forgotten one. I literally have not looked at this for weeks. Yeah, actual dust actual dust are there any roots Ooh, oh the pond oh my gosh right. okay maybe if i do this <gasps> look at these roots look at that look at that okay the roots are fine so the reason why these leaves are kind of chlorotic looking i wouldn't say this is chlorosis i think this is light damage um anytime i put an adansone under a grow light it really bleaches the leaves and so again i usually do this if i'm worried about just the plant rooting and obviously guys i'm inspecting for any critters all the critters you look a little questionable who are you yeah that's nothing yeah i thought these were eggs but they're not dun, 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 what are you yeah, that's nothing. Okay, cute. We're, we're cute. I kind of want to take the pawn out. I know I put the cake dowels here, but now I'm finding it's just a lot more stable if I put the moss pole. Maybe I'll just put the moss pole over the cake dowels and then put pawn. Anyhow, wow, that was the biggest ramble ever. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, look at that root system. Look at all that. And then down here too, like I can't, oop, I just did. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna put it in, gosh, like this maybe. Wow, there's no room. Okay, I'm gonna cut this leaf, guys. Every time I'm repotting a pot, every time I'm repotting a pot, oh my God, repotting a plant, if there's any adventitious roots, I just try to submerge them. Okay, I'm just putting the pond through the, that was a mistake. And alrighty, let's put the moss in here. This is very exciting. I know this specimen is like predominantly green. Sometimes I prefer that in like an Adansonii. Okay, I'm just gonna add plain water to the top. And oh my God, she is a cute 
tea. I'm really excited. Okay guys, I guess that's it. I know this is gonna be a short video. I know the last plaid trip video was a shorter video. Anyhow, thank you for always hanging out with me. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Again, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. And if you made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.